Hey everyone, I wanted to address a very common question and set of comments that I always get surrounding the 4th of July. I'll constantly get friends and family calling me up saying, hey Mike, we, you know, we had some really big fireworks going off in our neighborhood last night. I know it was that big stuff like you shoot at your professional displays. Well, I can stop you right there because 99.9% .9 of the time, the illegal fireworks that you see going off in your neighborhood are not professional grade fireworks. Number one, professional fireworks are highly regulated in the United States, and it's very difficult to acquire them. You have to go through a tremendous amount of red tape, even for professional display companies. Most of the time you're seeing consumer fireworks, which look really big when you're in a neighborhood setting. Keep in mind that consumer fireworks, all the way up to uh, small aerial shells, are legal in most areas of our country. I'm gonna start off by showing you the physical size difference between a consumer firework shell and a professional firework shell. So this ball is about the size of a consumer firework shell. They typically don't get much bigger than one and three quarter inches in diameter. Compare and contrast that to a professional display shell, the smallest that we would typically use at a show would be about three inches in diameter and would be closer to the size of this baseball. So the volume of a sphere is simply 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. So to make the numbers easy for this example, we're going to compare a one and a half inch diameter shell to a three inch diameter shell. The volume of the one and a half inch shell is 1.8 cubic inches and the volume of the three inch shell is 14.1 cubic inches. So even though we're only going a factor of two in shell diameter, the volume increases substantially more for that larger shell. Doubling the diameter of a shell increases the volume of explosive material that that shell can contain by a factor of eight. Considering this is the smallest size shell we would typically use at a professional fireworks display being three inches in diameter, it's very common to see a four inch and five inch diameter shells being used at your local public fireworks display on the 4th of July. But we use even bigger shells than that uh, depending on how much room you have at the particular firing site that you're using. So they can get above five inches, six inches, eight inches. This is an example of an eight inch diameter aerial shell. This particular shell is an inert eight inch shell that's a cutaway so you can see what's going on inside the firework. Click on the link in the description below where I go into detail and actually explain how a professional firework shell works. Now you've seen the difference between a maximum size of a consumer firework shell at one and three quarter inches, a three inch display shell, which is the smallest size we typically use at our shows in the professional world, and even what an eight inch aerial display shell would look like. We use shells that are even bigger than that, 10 inch, 12 inch, even 16 inch diameter aerial shells. You have to have a lot of clearance. And typically those aren't shot anywhere uh, in the middle of a city, you're gonna see shells like that out on barge shows and whatnot where you have lots of room surrounding the firing site. So now I'm gonna show you an example of what a consumer firework being shot in a neighborhood looks like versus the smallest diameter shell that we shoot in a professional display looks like in a neighborhood. So this first clip is a consumer firework shell. So you can see the relative size of that firework. So this next example is of someone illegally obtaining a professional three inch diameter aerial shell. And because they didn't know what they were doing, they loaded it into a four inch diameter pipe. And what that does is it allows the hot gases from the lift charge to escape around the shell and not push it to its designed height. So you get what's called a low break. So one of the other big differences when you're looking up in the sky and you're trying to determine if it's a consumer firework or a professional firework you're looking at is the height in which that shell explodes. So the general rule of thumb to use is about 100 feet per inch diameter of the shell is about how high the shell is going to go before it explodes. So 
For example, a one and three quarter inch shell would go approximately 175 feet into the air before exploding. In contrast to a three inch diameter professional aerial shell is designed to go closer to 300 feet in the air before exploding. Well, I hope you can tell the difference now between a consumer firework and a professional firework and that next time you see or hear something in your neighborhood, it's likely still just that consumer firework shell. Don't forget to click the link in the description below if you want to see what goes on inside of a firework.